Welcome. My name is Christine. And my name is James. Welcome all to the international kickoff of the United World 2014 live from Nairobi. Now, before we begin our program, we'd like to especially recognize the wife of the rep representative member of parliament for Juja, Mrs. Waitito. We are the youth of a united world, the youth part of the Focolare movement, which was founded by Kara Lubig. Kara's dream was to build a united world. In this moment of the United World Week, various activities are being carried out everywhere to show that humanity, that this dream is possible. For example, we have news from Portugal. They are celebrating the 1st of May with a great event with more than 1,000 people. Hello, Portugal. Also in Italy, near Florence, they are also following us together with youth from all over Italy. We have news from India where lots of concrete activities are being done. In Philippines, young people are going to meet and promote dialogue between different communities through sports. Similar activities are also taking place from north to south of Brazil, Mexico, Argentina, Australia, many countries in Africa, and so on. And you, what are you doing during these days of the United World Week? Tell us on our social networks or write to us on the email address you see on the screen. Now we really have a special message arriving to us from Syria, and we would like to share it with you. We have really, uh, notwithstanding the harsh and sorrowful war, where we all feel that there is no more sense in humanity, the only thing that consoles us and encourages us is to go ahead and that you are living this life and that you are praying for us. So we wish to assure you that we will keep on advancing the flame of love. After the, 20, after the Gen Fest 2012 in Budapest, we met in Jerusalem in 2013 to continue this path towards the next Gen Fest. Today, 1st of May 2014, we are here in Africa sharing with Africa. Over the past four days, we have been bridging with Africa through our culture, our music, our life, and our love. Next year, we will be bridging with Asia, and this will be happening in India. So, India, we are coming. Everybody is here to learn. Africans, Europeans, Americans, people from Asia and Oceania. We are all together building a, a universal fraternity. So let's see what we've been doing up to now. I wake up to another day. Sometimes it's hard to roll out of bed and face the world again. I put on the bravest smile, look to the sky.
I would like to welcome Ivi here and I'm very delighted to see the beautiful faces in front of me. from Nigeria. Olá, I'm Giovanni from Brazil. We are here in Maria Poli Piero, and during these days, we shared many experiences together. Many of them started from even before we arrived in Maria Poli Piero. When I decided to come here in Africa, and because it's a long trip, many of my friends asked, why don't you just help them from Brazil? But I had in mind that it wasn't coming to help. I was coming to share. Even if I had no idea what would happen here or expectations, I was just coming to try to love. Actually, I came with so many questions on my mind about a united world because I had to obtain permission from my director at work before coming and therefore have to explain the reason for traveling. After my explanation, I was told by them that the objective of the event, which is unity, is impossible. My uncle also discouraged me from coming and gave the example of the recent bomb blast in our capital city. For many, we had dreams of coming to Kenya, but on reaching here, we met so many challenges, including sharing rooms with people with different countries, cultures, and languages. For example, one of us in my room said that he was unable to communicate with his roommates, and at a certain point, he just packed and left. But after a while, in the other room, he felt that it wasn't love. Then he returned, and, then, and even if verbal communication was impossible, he was happy to be there. I am in a room with an Italian who managed to speak English for us to communicate. But I decided to learn Italian. So we agreed to learn four words every night. That night, we were so excited. Actually, I was touched when she said, at least I can, I can communicate in Italian freely now. During these days, we've talked about many subjects related to fraternity, hospitality, and Ubuntu, which is in the root of African culture, meaning I am because we are. Those weren't only words or lectures. We had the possibility to really live with one another. Also, on the online link-ups with young from all over the world, this helps us to see that these principles are already spread even in different words and expressions. I'm so excited to have shared my culture with people from different parts of the world. Actually, sharing with Africa made me to discover those aspects of my culture that expresses brotherhood, hospitality, joy and respect. It also made me to deepen my knowledge of my own culture and that of other people. It's, it has shown me that there is unity in diversity. 
One of us said that companies usually come to Africa just to exploit the natural resources. But during this period of sharing with Africa, she has realized that there are so many people out there who would like to know the richness of this culture. Being here made us realize that the African culture is indeed a culture of fraternity. And the relationships that we've built will last. Sharing helped us to understand that diversity is a precious gift and when everyone shares. So, having lived and shared with Africa, we've realized that we've been able to bridge with Africa and we are committed to building more bridges with other parts of the world. They will know. Obrigado. Thanks. Thank you. We are all born free. Siamo liberi di amare o di ignorare. Somos iguales in dignità e derechos. Somos dotados di razão. We are guided by our conscience. Vogliamo agire gli uni verso gli altri in spirito di fraternità. Queremos construir puentes. Let's bridge. Let's bridge. Let's bridge. Let's bridge. Let's bridge. Let's bridge. So, Christine, have you been on the United World Project website? Uh, not today. Christine, you should have done your homework. You knew we were going to talk about this, and there is great news about the project. Dear God, James, you sound like my dad. Anyway, I know someone who can help me with my homework. I think earlier today, I saw Blossom and Gasparino, and I'm pretty sure they can help with my homework. Blossom, Gasparino, hi! Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. To spread a culture of universal fraternity, this is the project we are working for the last two years. The United World Project. In every corner of the planet, every day, thousands of people are working to put fraternity at the center of their lives. But 